time for a treat. Top 10 gourmand fragrance is gonna be a mix of designer and a mix of niche fragrances. So a gourmand fragrance is a fragrance that have ingredients that are edible. Edible, edible, ah, pff, I never know how to pronounce that. Could be anything like a sugary accord, it could be sweet treats, it could be a cake, it could be a coffee, uh, some fruity notes that are juicy. I'm excluded today a coffee and cherry scent because I want to keep that for another video. A little indication before we start the video, the first gourmand fragrance was born in 1992, which is my date of birth. Voila, just saying. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> uh, by Mr. Thierry Mugler. He was Angel. Iconic. Number 10. I wanted to start by a design designer fragrance and it's Valentino Yomo, the eau de toilette. So when we think about gourmand, we think about really heavy fragrances. This one is basically your spring summer gourmand fragrance. It's really light, fresh, like a casual chic gourmand. It's got a notes of chocolate, hazelnut, a little bit of coffee note as well. It's a bit that Italian charm. I love it on men. I love it on women. I wear that a lot, to be honest. But yeah, for me, it would always stay one of my favorite fresh gourmand of the designer range. Number nine, let's go to the very sugary ones, Oriana Parfum de Marly. So just to let you know, I'm not a sugary person. I always think that very sugary marshmallow-like fragrance doesn't really smell that luxurious and I don't really see sometimes why I should pay the price for that. That's just my opinion. I was really surprised by this. It's marshmallow-like, a lot of orange blossom, so slightly flowery and fruity at the same time, orangey note, but it's mainly a lot of shamallow, marshmallow note. Dry sugary note. It's very, very powdery, and I feel it's kind of like girly and very easy to wear. It's got a very powdery trail, and for me, it's more like a silky, delicate sillage, but I do find that this one, what I really like is that I would definitely see that with a more mature woman as well. Okay, it's very candid-like, but I would definitely see it on a more uh, mature lady. Number eight, how to not talk about Thierry Mugler. He introduced the first modern gourmand fragrances into uh, the perfumery. So what an iconic man. In the man designer range, my all-time favorite is always Pure Havan. It's a very honeyed fragrance. It's got that um, boozy accord that is very beautiful, but the honey really gives something really addictive and you want to eat it. I always classified it in my most sexiest fragrances of the designer range. Do you really picture this image of a guy, you know, like smoking a cigar, having a cocktail, and you know, like, ugh, it's so addictive. Love Thierry Mugler fragrances as well for the fact that they smell different and they're really projecting a lot. So you love this mode, go for that. And for ladies designer Thierry Mugler, still, I had to talk about this one. Angel Muse. It's not my favorite of Thierry Mugler, but if I'm talking about a gourmand, a real gourmand, you have to talk about Angel Muse. Imagine Nutella. You smell the Nutella? Well, it smells like that. It's mainly that. It's very a creamy, creamy fragrance. very strong. They intensify this fragrance with patchouli. And patchouli is so clever to add with a Nutella Accord because it really intensifies it, make it even more creamier. So imagine this very mellow, smooth Nutella. That's exactly how it is. I find it really sexy. Honestly, you want to eat it. Number seven, we're going to talk about a few general ones, the caramel line. We don't extract the caramel naturally, so when you smell a caramel fragrance, you need to expect a bit of the synthetic note because the caramel note is done by the ethyl maltol. It's a molecule that basically uh, recreate that salty caramel vibe. So that's why all the caramel kind of have that synthetic vibe. So I do really enjoy when my caramel are nicely blended with a lot of natural ingredients. Otherwise, it, it's, it's always smell a bit cheap to me. Definitely for men designer Jean-Paul Gaultier scandal. Maybe you hate it, maybe you love it, but at least 
let's appreciate that it's the first time when we smell a gourmand full of caramel like this in the men's range and i find it so addictive for every day it's really long lasting it's really projecting a lot and i don't know i find it like kind of cheeky okay it's not the most classiest one but uh, i appreciate it for every day and i think it gives a bit more that cool tone to a guy for the ladies in the caramel notes in the designer range i will definitely go for prada candy the most classiest caramel you can ever smell in a desire range for ladies and if you want a cheaper one scent Viva la Juicy Gold Couture, I've talked way too much about this fragrance, but let's face it, it's a beautiful caramel, very sexy, men's love it apparently, I don't know why. This one on my list is a new fragrance that I discovered, and soon a new fragrance of my collection, I should receive it very soon, so I'm really really happy. Olfactivo Gourmand. Everything is in the name. I've done a vlog on Olfactivo. I've met the founder Olivia. It was amazing to learn how she created the fragrance. Gourmand is the new fragrances they had. And I was really surprised because with Gourmand fragrance, it's very heavy usually. This fragrance is class and sophistication in a bottle. A very clean gourmand. It's a very less is more approach and style. It's just very charming. Smell a bit licorice. Have this kind of pastry vibe and I'm so happy to smell a fragrance that is not too heavy. When you smell it, it's like blossoming. Nearly fizzy gourmand, you know, it's beautiful. So if you want a gourmand that is different, go for that try it just to let you know it's a uk fragrance brand so i think it doesn't deliver everywhere for now my number four is l'orga parfum ombre platine one of my favorite gourmand fragrance ever okay it's a numbery fragrance so it mixes everything that i love ambery sensual a sexy accord and caramel note and this what i like with ombre platine is the richness of the ingredient this screams quality caramel that you can wear every day because it's very sensual warm but it it's not intoxicating. It does have a lot of that cinnamon vibe. So you need to enjoy this spiciness because it's quite special in the fragrance. <laughs> Top three, uh, Bois d'Amande, Van Cleef and Arpels. Very classy, sophisticated, gourmand fragrance that doesn't give too much. It's mainly almondy. So you have this roasty note is the fragrance. Creamy, but not too sweet. Rich, is fluffy, is kind of gentle. Uh, it's definitely a gourmand that I would see uh, in office environment. It's kind of serious. It does project this image of professional, but with a bit of cheekiness. I know some people are on the fence with gourmand because they think they're gonna be like, uh, you know, this kind of uh, sweet kind of personality. Well, this is something that for me projects an image of more seriousness uh, after your attitude does everything, guys. But it does project this attitude this charisma, I love it. My number two is one recent addition of my collection and it's Coeur des Anges by Atelier des Ors. Totally not your typical gourmand. It's mainly like a juice. It's it's like a, a sweet, juicy note that you want to drink. It's mainly blood orange, you know, this, this very juicy orangey note. So it's nothing like you want to eat, but this one you want to drink it. All of these very orangey notes that are very strong and very juicy, or intensify with a honey accords but this is done to perfection these fragrances atelier des ors are very pretty because they are very meticulous it's a work of heart you can really see how they pick the ingredient separately and do it to perfection and this is kind of the fragrance i want to see more because when you see a time that is full of a bismuth fragrance that doesn't have any richness and nothing uh, poetic at all when you smell something like that you're like whoa you need to appreciate the fragrance like you can't smell it like that and be like well no that's not bismuth no like this kind of fragrance you smell it on your skin or on a paper but you wait it develop it's contrasted i think you 100 percent pay for your money when you pay for something like that it's smells quality to me and quality doesn't mean long lasting or anything like that and this is the definition of what for me uh, should be referenced as quality fragrances my number one is one umbrella for two by 
Floraiku. Alors Floraiku, you are sur the most beautiful packaging you ever seen. Japanese culture, so you always smell in the fragrance the DNA of tea notes that is really present in all the fragrances. Imagine the smell of a the fresh croissant or cookie dough. It's really like a creamy cookie noise, like this kind of black currant muffin. Imagine a luxurious black currant muffin. The black currant note smell a bit like jam. The fragrance is not sickening, like it's not heady. I think that really balances with those tea notes that are very um, soothing, relaxing. This is the fragrance you're gonna you're gonna wear in the afternoon when it's slightly cold but not too much so for spring it's perfect little tea with your muffin you're gonna have a chat with your friend it's really your afternoon tea so delicious the most beautiful gourmand i've ever smelled so far to be honest i'm absolutely addicted oh my god i forgot to talk about one of my favorite I wanted to talk about Roja Sweetiude, but at the same time, I've talked about it in my previous top 10 on fragrances that smell like wealth, so I guess that's fine. But if you're looking for an amazing gourmand, Roja Sweetiude, aye aye aye, aye aye aye. Pastry like, croissant like, it's incredible. Anyway, guys, I hope you appreciate the video. Let me know which are the fragrances that you uh, love in the gourmand range. I hope you enjoy as well seeing a little bit of. Uh, uh, some designer and some niche of course I forgot a lot but you know it's 10 fragrances and there's so many nowadays that are gourmand it's really the one that is on trend but I try to add fragrances that are different uh, to give you a different aspect of the gourmand because enough is enough of this very uh, heady uh, creamy uh, gourmand that we smell everywhere I think I gave you some choice that are a little bit different but don't forget to subscribe to my channel we are 20 K, okay, we are 20k so thank you so much for supporting me i really appreciate um i've seen some of you as well sending me some tips on utip i've seen i've seen it and i really want to say a big thank you to you next step uh, with this is to buy that very fancy microphone i'm looking for i will see you very very soon bye now